Alright, well you do that. I gotta go pick up some things. That I forgot. And drop off some of this first aid as well. Lisa was surprisingly easier than I thought she was gonna be. Surprisingly. Not by much. But enough where I didn't have to heal. And that's enough for me. It's time to use these medallions. Actually, you know what? I'll grab that MO disc too. Because where we're going, we're going to need it. Whoops. I looked at the box I, as I walked up the stairs that whole time. Okay. What's to investigate a little further, Wesker? To be honest. What was there to investigate just a little bit further? You still down? You're still down here. Have you found anything? Wesker's got this place better. Better just hurry on ahead. Yeah. Maybe you're right. Well, now, doesn't that seem awfully suspicious? Oh, the door's this way. Hell yeah, we're gonna use the elevator. We have nothing new to explore except this. So let's go. Nothing that way. All right, down the ladder. Let us see what adventures await us in the lab. It already looks cringy. Hey, hey. You may have noticed I did go back and uh, I picked up my Magnum. I had some issues during the last bit of recording for the last episode for Chris's part. So I end up, like a dingleberry, I saved over my save file for a cleared game. So I had to restart the entire game over. I know, smart me. So I'm literally, I'm just recording this complete lab part over again. But now we have the Magnum. Which, as you can tell, is super effective. Ah! And you know what? You got a friend down there. Take care of him, too. Oh, I love the Magnum. Oh, I love the Magnum. By far the best weapon in the game. That I've come to find.
And we got our ammo discs. So we get to save Jill. Hooray. Now most of the basement is now access to us. Hooray! Hooray for accessibility. Yeah. Take the one I had to use. Okay, I think that's it for this room. Now we should have this door electronically unlocked. I don't like that menacing music. Whoa. This was the last thing that Kenneth seen before he was eaten. Oh. Oh. Kenneth is squishy. Is there not an MO disc reader in here? I thought there was. Maybe I'm confused. And there's not one. Yeah, there's not one over here. Alright, let's go save Jill and get the rest of this laboratory dealt with. We got a lot more to ex Well, I shouldn't say a lot more. We got a little bit more to explore. Some few other things to get done. Medical equipment. Probably was abandoned. This whole place looks like it's been abandoned. So... Oh! He went squeesh. There's one. and pull that lever. That way it's ready to go. Trying to remember where all these MO locations are.
That's a big ass ugly cockroach. Whoops. Yeah, you guys really piss me off. Just trying to go on about my business. God. Evil six-legged cockroach mosquito things. Rusted shut, huh? Yeah, I'll take those. Nah. Oh, you're gonna make me come to this side? Go ahead and grab one more, use that up just so we're at full health. I know that seems kind of preposterous, but I don't want to make sure to save since we are at the last bit of this. I want no misfires. And if there is another misfire like I had the first time recording, I'm right here. So, you know, I don't have to play the entire game over again just to get, you know, to this point. Trust me, I've learned my mistake on that one. I got 18 ink ribbons. That's ridiculous. Okay, let's go get... Um... Probably should do the last ammo disc first. That way, I've also can say I cleared out all this mess. Yeah, I'd rather kill everything that I possibly can now. Boom! All three are un ready to be unlocked. Okay, let's go grab this fuel capsule, go fill it up. So we can get the big elevator working. I know, warning, fuel may explode if shaken or jarred. We're going to be doing a lot of walking once we fill it up. And hopefully I can get away with shooting my magnum off. Hopefully. because I really don't want it to be shaken or jarred. Not my, uh, not my deal to explode. Not really wanting to explode today. Usually I like to be the one to cause the explosions, yes. But usually I don't like blowing myself up in the process.
Okay. Seems to be something sturdy here. Will you open it? Yes, it looks like a refueling device. Set the capsule into place. So how have you guys been? It's been extremely busy. This is actually the first thing I'm recording uh, since taking that break, to be honest. Um, and I needed that break. Um, summer gets very hectic for me. Usually I have my nieces and nephews over with all their friends. Um, just really gets busy during the summertime. Plus I have, you know, my kids to contend with all summer long. And of course, hanging out with friends and family and, you know, doing the cookouts and the swimming and everything else that goes along with summertime. So, to be honest, I really did need a break from YouTube just to really keep up with my family life because I wasn't able to manage both and YouTube was just going downhill. I didn't have enough time or quiet to really edit anything or work on anything. So... But I am back. I am refreshed. I am rejuvenated and re-energized and ready to finish up Resident Evil 1 and move on to bigger and better things. Oh, painstakingly walking this thing back sucks. Oh. Hate walking around with that thing. It's stressful. And at least I took out all the human-sized cockroaches. So that was one less thing we had to worry about. Yeah, I heard you. What's this? Uh, I'm sure we have plenty, but yeah, I'll take it. I think I've got eight or nine now. And we got power to the main big elevator. Usually I don't miss. It's okay. It's okay. Have a first aid spray. Yep, okay. Oh god, I got ten of those flash grenades. Holy shit. Well, I really don't think we'll be using them. I was trying to get there. This is one big ass elevator. Chris! Rebecca! Hey, there she is. For real, right? No more following. Just stay with me, kid. That's my plan, sir. Yeah, you're better off just sticking out with me. And we can ride out this fucking fever dream together.
Jessica. So you've come. Chris, you make me proud. Do I? Of course you are one of mine. <laughs> Thanks. Since when, Wesker? I'm afraid I don't know what you're talking about. Since when have they been slipping you a paycheck? I think you're a bit confused. I've always been with Umbrella. The stars were Umbrellas. No, rather, my little piggies. Son of a bitch. The Tyrant virus leaked polluting this whole place, and unfortunately, I had to give up my lovely members of stars. You killed them with your own dirty hands! You son of a bitch! My, my oh, words yes. exactly. Just like this. Becca! Don't move. You. I don't think you want to die just yet. I have something that's of some interest to you. You mean that big my fucking behemoth that you call tyrant? Oh, Tyrant used to scare the shit out of me as a kid. Big ass fucking claw. Ugh. Oh. Superhuman strength. Big, massive, ugly biatch. It's Captain the Thud Thud 1.0. Shit. I don't think it liked you. Come on, Captain Thud Thud 1.0. Come on, you test tube freak. Bitch. She's moving. She's moving. Oh, thank God. Rebecca! Chris. It's a good thing you were wearing your bulletproof vest. There's nothing left for us to do here. Let's get moving. Hell no, let's get the fuck out of here. Where are you at? You follow me. Let's get Jill and find a way to get the hell out of here. I don't know about all of you, but this has been one weird-ass fever nightmare. show must go on. I'll leave that up to you, Rebecca. I'm on it. I'll start the self-destruct system I found a little while ago. It's not like we're out of this yet. I'll see you on the outside. Outside. Do I need anything from a box? We're gonna double check one last time. I don't think so. I got 17 bullets for the Magnum. I could take my shotgun, but there's really no point. I'm gonna take my shotgun. The shotgun itself. Because 10 bullets in the shotgun plus the 17 in the Magnum should be enough to drop him. Plus it's Richard's shotgun. 
And it's kind of like him escaping with us. You know, since he didn't make it out thanks to the man-eating shark. So, let's take Richard with us as we escape. Time to get the hell out of here, sweet. There she is. You're okay. Chris, it's Wesker. He... I know. But first, let's get out of here. Hell yeah, let's get out of here. I've had enough fun for the day. Come on, Jill. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's get the hell out of Dodge. There should be, I should only have to signal Brad. All right, well, get on the elevator, get to the roof, signal Brad. And then hopefully he'll still be flying around to come get us. Ladder. Step, step, step. I got you, Brad. I got you, buddy. I'm working on it. Oh, I done walked over it. There's my girls. Good work. Brad's up in the helicopter. Those things are coming. I'll take care of them. But Chris, you just get in contact with Brad somehow. Okay. All right, ladies. You handle that. I'll handle this. Three minutes. Oh, that's going fast. I don't like that. That's going really fast for three minutes. You really killed ten seconds? You really killed my... You killed my first ten seconds? How do, how do you get to kill my first ten seconds? That doesn't seem fair. Technically, my first twelve. Uh oh, Brad, you better see this.
One, two. Okay. Oh, Captain Thud Thud 1.0 is back. Oh. Hold on. Damn. That's the kind of shit I want to avoid at all cost. Chris, use it. Kill it, whatever it is. Okay. Oh, damn. Yeah, that hurt. That one hurt. But I got something for you, bitch. Oh! Gotcha, bitch. Oh, this fever dream is over. Get me the hell out of this forest. Ah, but I love that explosion. Ah. I saved both the ladies. Ugh. That's one hell of a way to open this entire series. They did a wonderful job. Ugh. Well, thank you guys so much for watching this series. Um, sorry it took so long for all of it to finally, um, come out and me to finally get to it. Um, we've hit a lot of roads, uh, since then, since the start of this series. Um, we've grown a lot. And we've had a lot of fun. But, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, smash that like button. Don't forget to ring the little bell icon and subscribe. If you haven't, and remember, share this out to your friends, co-workers, colleagues, family members, your dog, the homeless person down the street, everybody. Just share it out with everyone. <coughs> <coughs> Let's see if we can skip through these credits. Oh, we can. Look at that. Let's see how well we did. We did a fine job. Oh, we did a fine job. Three hours, 45 minutes. Killing 94 creatures and using 201 ammunition and seven items. Oh, we got a new costume. Let's go ahead and save. Wait for this transferring data nonsense. And once again, guys, I want to thank you for being a part of this community and growing with me as a YouTuber in this channel. It really means a lot that you guys sit and watch the content and you give me feedback and that you really enjoy it. But, um... That's the end of Resident Evil 1, at least as far as Chris's story is concerned. I will sometime down the line be doing uh, Jill's playthrough as well, uh, so we can get the second 
half to her story. But I'm going to leave it here for right now. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, y'all take her easy.